So what is the clearest, most truthful place from which we can see the pattern of reality, the pattern of life? We're suggesting that it is from intimate space, the intimate space of our own being. If we see the pattern of creation, we can share that with others. We can invite people to, to see uh, that, yes, there are all these frightful human things happening in the world that create existential risk for humanity. But there's also something else happening in the pattern of creation. There's something being born through me in the middle of all that, and there's something being born through you. And we're finding ourselves in the pattern of humanity, which we begin to see. We begin to see we have friends all over the world who are constellating a creative body of humanity. That's a knowing of what life really is. We are finding our parts. You know, uh, the parts of ourselves, but then the parts of each other that make up humanity. And we're coming together as awakened humanity. And we see that pattern of coming together. And it's so inspiring for someone who just sees all that's coming apart and what the government is doing and what people in dark rooms are doing with the financial systems of the world. All that is so frightful. But we're saying, no, we see something else that's happening. Let's put our eyes on that. And let's be with that. And let's let that displace all that is dying. All that has gone past its sell-by date. When you're living from intimate space, you're living from the spa same space everybody else is, is originating from. And you're living in the same creative field. And then when it comes to your message, if you're open to it, there's an implicate order in that field. There's an intelligence that's operative that is not just unique and distinctive to you. You're touching into the intelligence of the field. And if you will let yourself, you will say something of significance and relevance to what everybody is experiencing in that field. I believe we have the ability to do that for humanity. You might say it takes some practice. We ought to be thinking about it, so I don't, I'm not suggesting we, we just, uh, I don't know, go into some kind of trance state and, and expect it to happen. So we ought to be conscious and thoughtful about it, but we should also be open to allow the intelligence that's in the field to inspire us and operate through our own mind. Because actually, our mind is meant to do that. Our mind is meant to be an instrument for the intelligence of the universe that's operating in the field that we as human beings find ourselves in. And if our mental capacity is not in fright and fear, so it's, it's freed up from all that, now it's an available for the intelligence of the universe that wants to operate through us here. And we need that to do what we're here to do now in the world. 